Okay, so um, welcome to another episode of Poor Charles Update. I haven't been doing this on a regular basis only because I get real frustrated with the show. So it's easier for me to not speak my mind because I'll just stop watching. But my life was made. I am so happy. So many people are so upset that Kiki was murdered, but I'm happy because I feel as though that Kiki needed to go. Kiki was so boring. Now, keep in mind, the actress that plays Kiki, she's fine. I wish her all the best. But I'm glad she's gone because the character, there was no room to grow. There was no more story for her. The battle between her and her mother, nobody really cared. Um, but killing off Kiki was a great early Christmas gift for all of us. I enjoyed watching Ava give us the emotion that we needed to see. I felt horrible for her because, and in fact, I even watched that scene like maybe five times and every time I watched it, I cried. Now, aside from all this, unfortunately, I have fallen madly in like of Ryan. I don't want Kevin to come back. I can't be the only one that thinks this. Ryan is giving me all types of feels. He is the best thing since sliced bread to happen to poor Charles. I'm really hoping that Kevin's gone for like a whole year and Ryan is around because I feel like Ryan should kill off maybe two more people. And hear me out. I think Ryan should kill off... All right. I think he should kill off Michael Corinthos only because Michael's boring. If y'all are not going to do something to help this kid's storyline, then I don't see the point in him staying. And I also think he should kill off Flora. Okay. He needs to kill off Flora because Laura is boring too. Like I'm at a point where I feel like our characters need to do something else. Like I need some excitement because right now everything is boring to me. And Kiki, thank you. Thank you for dying. I mean, her death is a gift. Any Buffy fans out there? Because remember when Buffy met with the first Slayer and she was like, death is your gift. Well, Kiki's death is our gift because Ava's giving us life. Ryan is just, well, Ryan, for those that don't know, Ryan is the fake Kevin. He's giving us life. Um, I'm hoping that in the future, Sunny cheats on Carly and we can get a real storyline going because their happy romance thing, I'm not buying and I'm over it. They're boring to me. Um... I think he might sleep with Margot. And if he does, I'm here for it. I can see that. Because, I mean, what else can I do? I don't really need Carly tangled up in Michael's affairs, Jocelyn's affairs. I'm not going to even touch on Oscar because you know he's a pain in my ass. And I'm over him being sick and being a brat. Um... I was never here for Jocelyn and Cameron. Still not because I do believe, listen, I'm not here for them. I would like to see them just be friends and somebody new come in a picture for Cameron. I don't want to see them together. And Oscar can die too. So, um, having said all that, I am hoping, or I'm wishing for 2019, that General Hospital takes some risk. I want to see them just go above and beyond and just be more carefree. Stop being so cautious with the storylines. And stop introducing boring people to our neighborhood like I, I just feel like 
I keep coming and going, coming and going because one minute I'm like all there. The next minute I'm like, I can't stand the storyline. I don't know what's going on. I'm just like over it. And I was waiting for Ava's reaction and I got what I needed. So having said that, Ryan, please kill somebody else because this is just too juicy. Um, Ava, can I fix you a drink? Can I drink with you? She's been making them martinis look good, right? And, oh, why are y'all trying to make Maxie and Peter get together? That is pissing me off. First of all, that is a no-no. I'm tired of people fake mourning, you know, their loved ones just to fall into life with other people. What the hell? Like, if that really goes down, then I'm like, I might be done. Because I can't, I, I don't understand. After everything and almost losing her friendship with Lulu, now all of a sudden you want her to do what? Fall in love with Peter? She's not really even in love with Peter. It's the fact that that's her ex, her dead husband's brother, and that's the closest thing other than her baby James. Like, I, I can't. Like, you know what, Ryan? I'm gonna need you to probably take Maxie out. Just because. Felicia can go, Maxie can go, Michael can go, Laura can go. But then again, I still think Nicholas is alive. So maybe not kill her off yet. Let them have a reunion and then Laura can go. Because she serves no purpose. So what does she come back for? She doesn't even serve a purpose. Anyway, I see myself getting mad already. So I'm going to end it. I didn't see Monday's episode. I know that Ava holds a gun to Griffin. Hmm. Griffin can go too because you already know he's boring. Um, I would like to see some more people. Get a new cast. Bring some new actors in. Get some better storylines. Y'all don't got to... Y'all don't have to recycle everything, but come on, there's got to be some people in the writer's room that's real creative and can come up with a decent storyline. So, try that. <sighs> Until next time.